Can I do it, honey? Give me some. I just threw one of my balls back. <laughs> no, that's not how you do it. Go, go. <laughs> Leave the ducks alone. <laughs> Sit. Okay, Sit. Me. I have... Is this some quackery? Yeah. He's eating out of my hand. Yeah. Why is he nice? I what? love you. Son. What happened? Fingers are slimy. So that's what they make stuff to wash your hand for. Where is something quackery? Sit. I need some food. Okay. Cause you're not like, you gotta throw something. You gotta be like, oh, Okay, we gotta throw some. I'm gonna go to the other side and give some. You want some treats? You want some treats? Come on, come on, come on. Treats. All right, let me see. I don't know if they will, but I'm gonna see if they'll follow me down towards the big pond and see that it exists. Come on, come on. And maybe they'll go into it. I doubt it, but it's worth a shot. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, yeah, see, I gave up, all right, I got it, hey, duckies, now I gotta turn my back. <laughs> I uh, tried to get him down there. Oh well. Huh. You see that? <laughs> I took off these and we're out. You're in. Alright, come on. One day they'll go down there. One day, huh, Doctor? One day. You ready? All right. So yeah, so the little pond is staying full now. No rain for, no substantial rain for a week. And it hasn't gone down any. Of course, there's still been stuff flowing in, so. The real test will be when nothing's blowing in. We can really see what happens. Right? So, yeah. So, we feel good about it. We feel good about it. Woo! We could not have a uh, ridiculous uh, drought like we did this past summer. Then it uh, might be all right. sticks and rocks everywhere i'm getting ready to jump on the uh tractor because it is time to put the lime out you put the lime in the and you the and get some more stones and sticks and stuff up and trash up still have 
some flow going in. This is not a ton. So not a lot happening right now. Yeah. Still that little bit of the shelf cover up. But we'll see. So by now I should have received everybody's guesses for the uh, when the pond's going to overflow. So that's how we're going to know when it's full, when the first parts start to pour over into the uh, overflow. Yep. And uh, we will be getting a camera to go down there and a uh, clock and a light. So that's the plan. I gotta locate all this stuff so that we can uh, so that we can know when the pond is full. Right down down. Yeah. Alright. Woo. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna go take the tractor here and we're gonna take off the grapple and put on the bucket. So, uh, you know, loosened up some rocks and things. So we're going to collect all that. I'm going to spread lime back here in field one and in field two. And then I'm going to go back to scraping the other areas. I'm not going to do a whole, whole lot in the very, very back because we're building a house back there in that back corner. And I'm not going to do a whole lot up here on the logging deck because um, we still need to clear some over there and some stuff so that's just gonna get tore up anyway i'm i might put lime on it because that's you know to be in the soil that's not gonna hurt things uh but it'll be the last two areas that i lime so if i've got any left over that's where it's going but otherwise concentrate on these other areas today and uh see what we can get done right have the spreader hooked up so for those of you that think all i have is new equipment i'm just living the life why well, i'm living the life but it's not all new so this spreader was being thrown away because it was ate up down there and where it mounts was ate up and all that so uh I was going to say James and Taylor got it for me, but I actually think it was Taylor that found it. But anyway, they got it, and James welded it up and everything, and we use it, and it works fine. Just had to fix some of the uh, rust spots. Take care of that. So, free-ish spreader. Had, you know, some time in fixing it, but... So, we're going to use that. Go ahead and start spreading the lime. Bucket on here. First time. And use it. 
uh, clean some stuff up while we're down there too. And uh, yeah. All right, ready to make the first pass. So we're gonna run vertical rows and then we're gonna come back and load more up and go horizontal rows and uh, see how that does. In about a month or so, we're going to put out fertilizer and clover and follow up with uh, a forage mix is the current plan. Hey, y'all want some treats? We're about out, come on. What do you mean? Look, just because I had one incident with the tractor that y'all probably set me up on does not mean I shouldn't be driving the tractor. All right, all right. Here you go. This is the last bag of what Pookie got. It. Yeah. Last bag. So you better make it last. There you go. There you go. <laughs> now look, y'all stay out up here. So I'm gonna spread this lime. If y'all start eating it, I'm gonna have to lock you up. <laughs> they got jokes. They got jokes. Hooked back up to the uh, rake, and now I'm gonna go and do the next pasture over on the other side, rake it up, and then back. I'll probably actually try to rake everything today so I don't have to keep changing back and forth. But I just want to get some stuff down because we didn't know if it was gonna really rain yesterday or not, but it really didn't. So I'm gonna rake over there uh, the, in the backfield on the other side of the uh, ditch that feeds the pond and then the hillside that faces us whenever we drive to the back we'll rake all that and then we'll spread on that and then i'll take whatever line we have left and go over everything again and spread a little bit more uh till we're done it's gonna end up about um 500 pounds no What's it gonna end up being? It's gonna be 20, 10. Yeah, it's gonna end up being about 500 pounds an acre that we're putting out. Um, you know, we'll see if that does anything. And then, uh, like I said, fertilizer and seed will be in uh, about a month.
still here. It's over. Go home. 